Hello, in this in-class activity, we are going to learn how to calculate measures of dispersion and shape. We are going to use this simple data set to practice uh, how to calculate these measures. Here, variance, standard deviation, and the coefficient of variations are measures of dispersion, skewness, and kurtosis are measures of shape. In our calculation, we also need to know the value of the mean, so it is a part of our calculation. In our um, calculations, we are going to use this table to make the demonstration um, very uh, clear and uh, organized. The first column contains data values we find the sum over these values to attain uh, to, uh, to obtain 45 so this is the sum and uh, 45 divided by 7 which is the number of cases we obtain uh, the sum of mean 6.4 now using this column we calculate uh, deviations deviations is the difference between data value and the sample mean. For the first case, uh, 5 divided by 5 minus 6.4 give us negative 1.4. Okay. So 5 minus uh, 6.4, we have uh, a deviation which is a negative value. For the next case, 8 minus 6.4 give us 1.6 is a positive uh, deviation and the third case again is 5 so we have a negative 1.4 we do the same for all cases we obtain deviations such as this and uh, there are positive deviations there are negative deviations and um, when you find the sum of these deviations, you obtain a sum of zero. The positive and the negative deviations are all cancel out. Then next column, uh, we use this next column to calculate squared deviation. So the first case, negative uh, uh, one four uh, squared uh, give us 1.96 every time when you find a uh, find a square of a negative number you have a positive number 1.6 squared you have uh, 2.56 you do the same for all cases you obtain squared deviations such as this then you can find the sum of squared deviations and this is a, a number 19.72 when you come to calculate sample variance from the class reading material you know that uh, this is a formula we should use on the top numerator is the sum of squared deviations so 19.72 goes to here at the bottom the denominator is n minus 1 the number of cases minus 1 so 7 minus 1 is 6 19.72 divided by 6 is 3.29 so sample variance is 3.29. To calculate the sample standard deviation, this is a formula which is simply the square root of sample variance. So after you obtain sample variance, you can simply find the square root of it to obtain sample standard deviation. In our case, sample variance is 3.29 
the square root of 3.29 is 1.81. So the sample standard deviation is 1.81. Now we can calculate coefficient of variation, okay, which is sample standard deviation divided by the sample mean, 1.81 divided by 6.4, that gives us 0 0.283 times 100, we have 28.3. What does it mean? Coefficient of variation express the standard deviation in relation to the sample mean. We express this number as a percentage of sample mean. So we want to see how large the sample standard deviation in relation to sample mean as a percentage. In many cases, two data sets may have about the same sample standard deviation, but they may have very different uh, sample mean. So when you come to uh, find a ratio between the sample standard deviation and sample mean, you can really get a sense of a relative to the sample mean, how large the sample standard deviation is. Let me use these two examples to illustrate uh, the uh, usefulness of uh, coefficient of uh, variation. Let's say that uh, we have a few millionaires. They earn about uh, the same income, about a million dollars, about a million dollars. But uh, there are uh, minor variations among them. There are a couple of dollars minor uh, variations among them. But those a couple of dollars uh, variations among them divided by their total average income, a million dollars, this percentage is very, very insignificant. In other words, the income variations among them is very, very small in relation to their average income. Now you have several workers who earn only earn the close to minimum wage, ten dollars per hour. Now there are some variations of income among them too, a couple of dollars uh, difference among them. But uh, now if you use the couple of dollars of differences divided by the average hourly income, ten dollars. This is a huge percentage. It's a huge percentage relative to this, you know, this inter between the millionaires and these uh, uh, workers. The actual amount of uh, variations of income is about the same, a couple of dollars. But when you divide these uh, standard deviations by the average income, you can see that for the millionaires, that uh, the variation, variations vary minor, but uh, for these uh, workers, that variation is very huge, at least 10% or 20%, so in terms of their uh, average income. So I hope these uh, examples to uh, really help to illustrate the usefulness of uh, the uh, coefficient of variation to express uh, uh, standard deviation uh, in relation to the uh, average. Now, we completed the uh, calculation of uh, measures of uh, dispersion. 